Activated Carbon, Wikipedia Article Audio Activated Carbon, also called Activated Charcoal, is a form of carbon process to have small, low-volume pores that increase the surface area available for adsorption or chemical reactions. Activated is sometimes substituted with active. Due to its high degree of microporosity, just 1 gram of activated carbon has a surface area in excess of 3000 m2, as determined by gas adsorption. An activation level sufficient for useful application may be attained solely from high surface area, however, further chemical treatment often enhances adsorption properties. Uses Industrial application Activated carbon is usually derived from charcoal and is sometimes utilized as biocar. Those derived from coal and coke are referred as activated coal and activated coke respectively. Activated carbon is used in air purification, decaffeination, gold purification, metal extraction, water purification, medicine, sewage treatment, air filters in gas masks and respirators, filters in compressed air and many other applications. One major industrial application involves use of activated carbon in the metal finishing field. It is very widely employed for purification of electroplating solutions. For example, it is a main purification technique for removing organic impurities from bright nickel plating solutions. A variety of organic chemicals are added to plating solutions for improving their deposit qualities and for enhancing properties like brightness, smoothness, ductility, etc. Due to passage of direct current and electrolytic reactions of anodic oxidation and cathodic reduction, organic additives generate unwanted breakdown products in solution. Their excessive buildup can adversely affect the plating quality and physical properties of deposited metal. Activated carbon treatment removes such impurities and restores plating performance to the desired level. Activated carbon is used to treat poisonings and overdoses following oral ingestion. Tablets or capsules of activated carbon are used in many countries as an over-the-counter drug to treat diarrhea, indigestion, and flatulence. However, it is ineffective for a number of poisonings including strong acids or alkali, cyanide, iron, lithium, arsenic, methanol, ethanol or ethylene glycol. Medical Uses Incorrect application results in pulmonary aspiration, which can sometimes be fatal if immediate medical treatment is not initiated. Activated carbon, in 50% W-W combination with cellite, is used as stationary phase in low-pressure chromatographic separation of carbohydrates using ethanol solutions as mobile phase in analytical or preparative protocols. Analytical Chemistry Applications Carbon adsorption has numerous applications in removing pollutants from air or water streams both in the field and in industrial processes such as During early implementation of the 1974 Safe Drinking Water Act in the USA, EPA officials developed a rule that proposed requiring drinking water treatment systems to use granular activated carbon. But, because of its high costs, the so-called GAC rule encountered such strong opposition all across the country from the water supply industry, including the largest water utilities in California, that the agency set aside the rule. Activated carbon filtration is a very effective water treatment method due to its multifunctional nature. There are specific types of activated carbon filtration methods and equipment that are indicated depending upon the contaminants that need to be dealt with. Activated carbon is also used for the measurement of radon concentration in air. 
Environmental Applications Activated carbon is an allowed substance used by organic farmers in both livestock production and wine making. In livestock production it is used as a pesticide, animal feed additive, processing aid, non-agricultural ingredient and disinfectant. Benefits in case of animal feed additive are questionable. In organic winemaking, activated carbon is allowed for use as a processing agent to absorb brown color pigments from white grape concentrates. Agriculture Uses Activated carbon filters can be used to filter vodka and whiskey of organic impurities which can affect color, taste, and odor. Passing an organically impure vodka through an activated carbon filter at the proper flow rate will result in vodka with an identical alcohol content and significantly increased organic purity, as judged by odor and taste. Distilled Alcoholic Beverage Purification Research is being done testing various activated carbon's ability to store natural gas and hydrogen gas. The porous material acts like a sponge for different types of gases. The gas is attracted to the carbon material via van der Waals forces. Some carbons have been able to achieve bonding energies of 510 kJ per mole. The gas may then be desorbed when subjected to higher temperatures and either combusted to do work or in the case of hydrogen gas extracted for use in a hydrogen fuel cell. Gas storage in activated carbons is an appealing gas storage method because the gas can be stored in a low pressure, low mass, low volume environment that would be much more feasible than bulky onboard compression tanks in vehicles. The United States Department of Energy has specified certain goals to be achieved in the area of research and development of nanoporous carbon materials. All of the goals are yet to be satisfied but numerous institutions, including the Allcraft program, are continuing to conduct work in this promising field. Filters with activated carbon are usually used in compressed air and gas purification to remove oil vapors, odor, and other hydrocarbons from the air. The most common designs use a one-stage or two-stage filtration principle in which activated carbon is embedded inside the filter media. Fuel Storage Activated carbon is also used in spacesuit primary life support systems. Activated carbon filters are used to retain radioactive gases within the air vacuumed from a nuclear boiling water reactor turbine condenser. The large charcoal beds adsorb these gases and retain them while they rapidly decay to non-radioactive solid species. The solids are trapped in the charcoal particles, while the filtered air passes through. Activated carbon is commonly used on the laboratory scale to purify solutions of organic molecules containing unwanted colored organic impurities. Filtration over activated carbon is used in large-scale fine chemical and pharmaceutical processes for the same purpose. The carbon is either mixed with the solution then filtered off or immobilized in a filter. Activated carbon, often infused with sulfur or iodine, is widely used to trap mercury emissions from coal-fired power stations, medical incinerators, and from natural gas at the wellhead. This carbon is a special product costing more than 4 US dollars per kg. Gas purification Since it is often not recycled, the mercury-laden activated carbon presents a disposal dilemma. If the activated carbon contains less than 260 ppm mercury, United States federal regulations allow it to be stabilized for landfilling. However, waste containing greater than 260 ppm is considered to be in the high mercury subcategory and is banned from landfilling. This material is now accumulating in warehouses and in deep abandoned mines at an estimated rate of 1,000 tons per year. K. 
chemical purification. The problem of disposal of mercury-laden activated carbon is not unique to the United States. In the Netherlands, this mercury is largely recovered and the activated carbon is disposed of by complete burning. Spill cleanup, groundwater remediation, drinking water filtration, air purification, volatile organic compounds capture from painting, dry cleaning, gasoline dispensing operations, and other processes. Activated carbon is carbon produced from carbonaceous source materials such as bamboo, coconut husk, willow peat, wood, coir, lignite, coal, and petroleum pitch. It can be produced by one of the following processes. Activated carbons are complex products which are difficult to classify on the basis of their behavior, surface characteristics, and other fundamental criteria. However, some broad classification is made for general purpose based on their size, preparation methods, and industrial applications. Adsorbent drying at approximately 105 degrees C high temperature desorption and decomposition under an inert atmosphere, residual organic gasification by a non-oxidizing gas at elevated temperatures. Normally, activated carbons are made in particulate form as powders or fine granules less than 1 mm in size with an average diameter between 0.15 and 0.25 mm. Thus they present a large surface-to-volume ratio with a small diffusion distance. Activated carbon is defined as the activated carbon particles retained on a 50-mesh sieve. Mercury scrubbing Production Classification Powdered activated carbon Pack material is finer material Pack is made up of crushed or ground carbon particles, 95-100% of which will pass through a designated mesh sieve. The ASTM classifies particles passing through an 80 mesh sieve and smaller as pack. It is not common to use pack in a dedicated vessel, due to the high head loss that would occur. Instead, pack is generally added directly to other process units such as raw water intakes, rapid mix basins, clarifiers, and gravity filters. Chemical and solvent regeneration, microbial regeneration, electrochemical regeneration, ultrasonic regeneration, wet air oxidation. Granular activated carbon has a relatively larger particle size compared to powdered activated carbon and consequently, presents a smaller external surface. Diffusion of the adsorbate is thus an important factor. These carbons are suitable for adsorption of gases and vapors, because they diffuse rapidly. Granulated carbons are used for water treatment, deodorization, and separation of components of flow system and is also used in rapid mix basins. GAC can be either in granular or extruded form. GAC is designated by sizes such as 8 times 20, 20 times 40, or 8 times 30 for liquid phase applications and 4 times 6, 4 times 8 or 4 times 10 for vapor phase applications. A 20 times 40 carbon is made of particles that will pass through a U.S. standard mesh size number 20 sieve but be retained on a U.S. standard mesh size number 40 sieve. A WWAB604 uses the 50 mesh sieve as the minimum GAC size. The most popular aqueous phase carbons are the 12 times 40 and 8 times 30 sizes because they have a good balance of size, surface area, and head loss characteristics. Extruded activated carbon combines powdered activated carbon with a binder, which are fused together and extruded into a cylindrical shaped activated carbon block with diameters from 0.8 to 130 millimeters. 
These are mainly used for gas phase applications because of their low pressure drop, high mechanical strength and low dust content. Also sold as CTO filter. Bead activated carbon is made from petroleum pitch and supplied in diameters from approximately 0.35 to 0.80 mm. Similar to EAC, it is also noted for its low pressure drop, high mechanical strength and low dust content, but with a smaller grain size. Its spherical shape makes it preferred for fluidized bed applications such as water filtration. Porous carbons containing several types of inorganic impregnates such as iodine, silver, cations such as Al, Mn, Zn, Fe, Li, Ca have also been prepared for specific application in air pollution control especially in museums and galleries. Due to its antimicrobial and antiseptic properties, Silver-loaded activated carbon is used as an adsorbent for purification of domestic water. Drinking water can be obtained from natural water by treating the natural water with a mixture of activated carbon and Al3, a flocculating agent. Impregnated carbons are also used for the adsorption of hydrogen sulfide and thiols. Adsorption rates for H2S as high as 50% by weight have been reported. This is a process by which a porous carbon can be coated with a biocompatible polymer to give a smooth and permeable coat without blocking the pores. The resulting carbon is useful for hemoperfusion. Hemoperfusion is a treatment technique in which large volumes of the patient's blood are passed over an adsorbent substance in order to remove toxic substances from the blood. There is a technology of processing technical rayon fiber into activated carbon cloth for carbon filtering. Adsorption capacity of activated cloth is two times faster than that of activated charcoal. Thanks to the different forms of activated material, it can be used in a wide range of applications. Granular Activated Carbon A gram of activated carbon can have a surface area in excess of 500 m2, with 3000 m2 being readily achievable. Carbon aerogels, while more expensive, have even higher surface areas and are used in special applications. Under an electron microscope, the high surface area structures of activated carbon are revealed. Individual particles are intensely convoluted and display various kinds of porosity, there may be many areas where flat surfaces of graphite-like material run parallel to each other, separated by only a few nanometers or so. These micropores provide superb conditions for adsorption to occur, since adsorbing material can interact with many surfaces simultaneously. Tests of adsorption behavior are usually done with nitrogen gas at 77K under high vacuum, but in everyday terms activated carbon is perfectly capable of producing the equivalent, by adsorption from its environment liquid water from steam at 100 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 1 slash 10 comma 0 0 0 of an atmosphere. James Dewar, the scientist after whom the Dewar is named, spent much time studying activated carbon and published a paper regarding its adsorption capacity with regard to gases. In this paper, he discovered that cooling the carbon to liquid nitrogen temperatures allowed it to adsorb significant quantities of numerous air gases, among others, that could then be recollected by simply allowing the carbon to warm again and that coconut-based carbon was superior for the effect. He uses oxygen as an example, wherein the activated carbon would typically adsorb the atmospheric concentration under standard conditions but release over 80% oxygen if the carbon was first cooled to low temperatures. Extruded Activated Carbon Bead Activated Carbon Impregnated Carbon 
physically, activated carbon binds materials by van der Waals force or London dispersion force. Activated carbon does not bind well to certain chemicals, including alcohols, diols, strong acids and bases, metals and most inorganics, such as lithium, sodium, iron, lead, arsenic, fluorine, and boric acid. Activated carbon adsorbs iodine very well. The iodine capacity, mg g, may be used as an indication of total surface area. Carbon monoxide is not well adsorbed by activated carbon. This should be of particular concern to those using the material in filters for respirators, fume hoods, or other gas control systems as the gas is undetectable to the human senses, toxic to metabolism and neurotoxic. Substantial lists of the common industrial and agricultural gases adsorbed by activated carbon can be found online. Polymer-coated carbon Activated carbon can be used as a substrate for the application of various chemicals to improve the adsorptive capacity for some inorganic compounds such as hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, formaldehyde, mercury, and radioactive iodine-131. This property is known as chemisorption. Many carbons preferentially adsorb small molecules. Iodine number is the most fundamental parameter used to characterize activated carbon performance. It is a measure of activity level, often reported in mg g It is a measure of the micropore content of the activated carbon by adsorption of iodine from solution. It is equivalent to surface area of carbon between 900 and 1100 m2 slash g. It is the standard measure for liquid phase applications. Iodine number is defined as the milligrams of iodine adsorbed by 1 gram of carbon when the iodine concentration in the residual filtrate is at a concentration of 0.02 normal. Basically, Iodine number is a measure of the iodine adsorbed in the pores and, as such, is an indication of the pore volume available in the activated carbon of interest. Typically, water treatment carbons have iodine numbers ranging from 600 to 1100. Frequently, this parameter is used to determine the degree of exhaustion of a carbon in use. However, this practice should be viewed with caution, as chemical interactions with the adsorbate may affect the iodine uptake, giving false results. Thus, the use of iodine number as a measure of the degree of exhaustion of a carbon bed can only be recommended if it has been shown to be free of chemical interactions with adsorbates and if an experimental correlation between iodine number and the degree of exhaustion has been determined for the particular application. Some carbons are more adept at adsorbing large molecules. Molasses number or molasses efficiency is a measure of the mesopore content of the activated carbon by adsorption of molasses from solution. A high molasses number indicates a high adsorption of big molecules. Caramel DP is similar to molasses number. Molasses efficiency is reported as a percentage and parallels molasses number. The European molasses number is inversely related to the North American molasses number. Molasses number is a measure of the degree of decolorization of a standard molasses solution that has been diluted and standardized against standardized activated carbon. Due to the size of color bodies, the molasses number represents the potential pore volume available for larger adsorbing species. As all of the pore volume may not be available for adsorption in a particular wastewater application, and as some of the adsorbate may enter smaller pores, it is not a good measure of the worth of a particular activated carbon for a specific application. Frequently, 
this parameter is useful in evaluating a series of active carbons for their rates of adsorption. Given two active carbons with similar pore volumes for adsorption, the one having the higher molasses number will usually have larger feeder pores resulting in more efficient transfer of adsorbate into the adsorption space. Tannins are a mixture of large and medium size molecules. Carbons with a combination of macropores and mesopores adsorb tannins. The ability of a carbon to adsorb tannins is reported in parts per million concentration. Some carbons have a mesopore structure which adsorbs medium size molecules, such as the dimethylene blue. Methylene blue adsorption is reported in G 100 G. Some carbons are evaluated based on the dechlorination half life length, which measures the chlorine removal efficiency of activated carbon. The dechlorination half value length is the depth of carbon required to reduce the chlorine level of a flowing stream from 5 ppm to 3.5 ppm. A lower half value length indicates superior performance. The solid or skeletal density of activated carbons will typically range between 2000 and 2100 kg M3. However, a large part of an activated carbon sample will consist of air space between particles, and the actual or apparent density will therefore be lower typically 400 to 500 kg M3. Higher density provides greater volume activity and normally indicates better quality activated carbon. ASTM D2854-09 is used to determine the apparent density of activated carbon. Woven Carbon Properties it is a measure of the activated carbon's resistance to attrition. It is an important indicator of activated carbon to maintain its physical integrity and withstand frictional forces imposed by backwashing, etc. There are large differences in the hardness of activated carbons, depending on the raw material and activity levels. Ash reduces the overall activity of activated carbon and reduces the efficiency of reactivation. The metal oxides can leach out of activated carbon resulting in discoloration. Acid-slash-water-soluble ash content is more significant than total ash content. Soluble ash content can be very important for aquarists, as ferric oxide can promote algal growths. A carbon with a low soluble ash content should be used for marine, freshwater fish and reef tanks to avoid heavy metal poisoning and excess plant-slash-algal growth. Standard method D2866-2011 is used to determine the ash content of activated carbon. Iodine number Measurement of the porosity of an activated carbon by the adsorption of saturated carbon tetrachloride vapor. Molasses. Tannin. Methylene blue. Dechlorination. Apparent density. Hardness-slash-abrasion number. Ash content. Carbon tetrachloride activity. Particle size distribution Modification of properties and reactivity Examples of adsorption Heterogeneous catalysis Reactivation and regeneration Thermal reactivation The finer the particle size of an activated carbon, the better the access to the surface area and the faster the rate of adsorption kinetics. In vapor phase systems this needs to be considered against pressure drop, which will affect energy cost. Careful consideration of particle size distribution can provide significant operating benefits. However, in the case of using activated carbon for adsorption of minerals such as gold, 
the particle size should be in the range of 3.35 1.4 mm. Activated carbon with particle size less than 1 mm would not be suitable for elution. Acid base, oxidation reduction and specific adsorption characteristics are strongly dependent on the composition of the surface functional groups. The surface of conventional activated carbon is reactive, capable of oxidation by atmospheric oxygen and oxygen plasma steam, and also carbon dioxide and ozone. Oxidation in the liquid phase is caused by a wide range of reagents. Through the formation of a large number of basic and acidic groups on the surface of oxidized carbon desorption and other properties can differ significantly from the unmodified forms. Activated carbon can be nitrogenated by natural products or polymers or processing of carbon with nitrogenating reagents. Activated carbon can interact with chlorine, bromine, and fluorine. Sulfonic acid functional groups can be attached to activated carbon to give starbones which can be used to selectively catalyze the esterification of fatty acids. Formation of such activated carbons from halogenated precursors gives a more effective catalyst which is thought to be a result of remaining halogens improving stability. Some of the chemical properties of activated carbon have been attributed to presence of the surface active carbon double bond. The polyene adsorption theory is a popular method for analyzing adsorption of various organic substances to their surface. The most commonly encountered form of chemisorption in industry, occurs when a solid catalyst interacts with a gaseous feedstock, the reactant slash S. The adsorption of reactant slash S to the catalyst surface creates a chemical bond, altering the electron density around the reactant molecule and allowing it to undergo reactions that would not normally be available to it. The reactivation or the regeneration of activated carbons involves restoring the adsorptive capacity of saturated activated carbon by deserving adsorbed contaminants on the activated carbon surface. The most common regeneration technique employed in industrial processes is thermal reactivation. The thermal regeneration process generally follows three steps. The heat treatment stage utilizes the exothermic nature of adsorption and results in desorption, partial cracking and polymerization of the adsorbed organics. The final step aims to remove charred organic residue formed in the porous structure in the previous stage and re-expose the porous carbon structure regenerating its original surface characteristics. After treatment the adsorption column can be reused. Per adsorption thermal regeneration cycle between 5-15 WT% percent of the carbon bed is burnt off resulting in a loss of adsorptive capacity. Thermal regeneration is a high-energy process due to the high required temperatures making it both an energetically and commercially expensive process. Plants that rely on thermal regeneration of activated carbon have to be of a certain size before it is economically viable to have regeneration facilities on site. As a result, it is common for smaller waste treatment sites to ship their activated carbon cores to specialized facilities for regeneration. Current concerns with the high energy slash cost nature of thermal regeneration of activated carbon has encouraged research into alternative regeneration methods to reduce the environmental impact of such processes. Though several of the regeneration techniques cited have remained areas of purely academic research, some alternatives to thermal regeneration systems have been employed in industry. Current alternative regeneration methods are Other regeneration techniques